Hey kings and queens, um, this is Aisha. I am on here to make a quick video about my one month lock update. Um, it's not going to be long as the last one. I just got done working out and showering and I am exhausted. Alright, so we're going to get into it. Um, officially, I have been locked for a month. I started my journey with two strand twists as you can see um, and so far not much has changed um, of course my hair is more frizzy than it was a month ago when I first installed my locks um, I don't know the, the twists I feel like are bonding together more um, I washed my hair and retightened my hair once and um, when it, after I washed my hair, um, not that many of my twists unraveled at all. I think maybe two of them unraveled. And when they unraveled, they the whole twist did not unravel. They more so unraveled from mid twist on down. And um, the top of the twist just didn't move anywhere. So it kind of looked like. I don't know like they were they were actually kind of matting together um but for right now they pretty much still look like it just looks like my hair is twisted it doesn't look like my hair has locked yet i will say that when i did retighten my hair it kind of looked like a hat lock so was, which was really cool um and you can also tell by how much shrinkage i have i can still pull the twist down um but yeah, I'm really impressed about how many of the twists have actually stayed together. It hasn't been that much unraveling at all. Um, the products that I use, I only use coconut oil and water. Every night before bed, I spray water into my hands and then I rub it all through my twists. I don't use edge control. I thought um, in the beginning that I would need to use it, but then I was just like, that's stupid if I'm trying to alleviate buildup so I don't really use edge control either I do have a headband that lays I, I wear a hair bonnet and then I wear a headband um, towards the front of my hair that just lays down my edges and so coconut oil and water I use the coconut oil to alleviate the flakiness that I've been getting and dryness and itchiness and then the water of course to just re-moisturize my hair whenever it's needed um I've also used my dry shampoo shampoo which is by bedhead i'll link the exact name down in the description box and i'm trying to figure out uh, when i washed my hair i used carol's darter um sulfate free shampoo and it's like black vanilla scented i'll also link that down because i know that's not the name of it i use that and i also did the wig cap method and if you aren't familiar with that that's simply putting a wig cap over your entire head and washing your hair and that helps alleviate um your hair unraveling um and so yeah i did that paid attention to my scalp and it got rid of a lot of buildup it helped with the itchiness that i was getting and i think maybe only two or three of my twists unraveled and like i said they, they didn't they're not unraveling all the way just like mid twist um and i sprayed some leave-in conditioner on it which is also by the carol's daughter it's the same line of products i've had it for forever um, I lightly spritzed it on my hair and didn't put that much on it and then I let my hair air dry for a little bit and I retightened with coconut oil and I used bobby pins to secure them because my twists are really small so I didn't want to use big, big clips to secure them um, and I took them out the next morning and my hair looked fresh, fresh as hell and I really liked it. It definitely looks like my hair um, was locked or in the process of locking. Um, and the front of my hair doesn't look like it's been retwisted, if you can tell. It's not that great of lighting in here, sorry guys. But, um, I washed and retightened my hair a week ago, so the front of my hair just kind of said F you to me. Oh, it's not that really great of lighting, so you really can't tell. But, um, 
yeah that's my hair um not much has changed i um really have surprised myself considering my emotions in my last video i think i said that i um vowed to myself that i would at least wear my own hair out for a month and then start wearing wigs again but since i do uh still want to protect my hair and i love wearing wigs just to switch up my look and to prevent myself from taking these twists down but over the course of this first month i've just really fallen in love with my hair i absolutely love it and what it can do um i love that i wake up in the morning and i just either pin it up in a style or throw a headband on or just wear it down i love that and i just love the potential that i know that it will reach and i really don't even want to wear a wig um I just simply love my hair now I'm absolutely in love with it that doesn't mean I'm not going to wear wigs I'm still gonna wear wigs <laughs> um, from time to time but not as much as I thought I would need to um, I don't feel uncomfortable with my hair like this I feel confident and I just absolutely love my hair so I'll set up a little bit and let you guys see what my hair is looking like as you can see they are getting a little frizzy um, but still very much curly and I'm so sorry guys this lighting is absolutely terrible right but you can see that it's it they are getting a little frizzy and so I'm really really happy about that all right and my goal is to only wash and retighten my hair once a month to prevent unraveling uh, to prevent unraveling and just to prevent thinning locks I just want to get in the habit of only washing my hair and retightening once a month but I honestly think that once my hair does lock I'll probably be washing my hair twice a month as opposed to once a month but I do only want to always retighten my hair once a month um, and right now me just washing my hair once a month I it's no big deal because I'm only using coconut oil and water in my hair for the most part. So I really don't have to worry about build up just irritation and itchiness and flakiness in my scalp. But yeah, <clears throat> these are my locks. One month update. I will see you all next month unless I decide to make a video. Um, be sure to comment below. Um, below this video or on my blog if you want me to do another video maybe talk about why I've decided to lock my hair or what products I'm using or I don't know just any questions that you guys have about um, my lock journey so far so um, other than that I will see you all at three months and I promise that it will be way better lighting than this um, but yeah Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, comment, follow HeyQueen.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And uh, I will catch you all at month three. And there will be some pictures at the end, so. Bye. Thank you.